In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to build a class in C++ that the standard template library can work with. Um, the standard template library is an awesome device, an awesome set of tools, but it's very picky in how it works with its classes. Um, the class I built today will work with any of the standard template classes, allowing you to search or sort, etc. Okay, so I have here basic C++ class, file nude. Um, I'm going to add a class. I'm going to build a new class. I'm going to call it country. Okay, so build your class like you normally would. My particular class structures, I have a country code, I have a latitude, a longitude for the center point of that country, and I have the name of the country itself. So many couple usings up here. I need those later for my operators. And I like to use this names the standard namespace here. I know not everybody does. I do. It simplifies things for my students. So I have string country code double latitude all right so class can be as big or as small as you want you need your basics like I'm gonna need constructors. Now, if you're at this point, you know how to build this stuff. So here's my constructors. I'm just copying them because I've already built them. Basic constructors. I put them in a nice pragma so I can hide them. You'll need your basic setters and getters. Nothing crazy there. Yeah, so nothing insane there. And now here's the things you'll definitely need. You're going to need your own comparison operators. The regions are just nice. You don't have to have them. But they allow you to see me to hide stuff. Um, they all, have, all of these comparison operators have to be set up the same way. They're all friends. I got con spot wrong here. And I'm doing these in line just to save me some time with jumping back and forth between files. They all have to be friends. They all have to take the address on the left and a constant on the right hand. If you don't match this pattern, some of the standard template libraries won't let you work with your class. And then however you decide to organize these things. All right, so I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna put the rest of them in here, then I'm gonna get to the harder ones. All right, so I've got Oops, I've got the basic ones in there. Um, you should now also build the not equal to and, and hmm, I didn't mean to hit run there. Um, you should also build the not equal to and the equal to. If you don't, then you're gonna have a hard time doing things like searching. So again, they're friends. I'll do not equal. And then you have the same setup as if you did above. And then here you decide how you want to compare them. Traditionally, you compare every element to every other element. But you could just make the statement say just compare one element by class. I'm going to do it right. 
I'm going to compare the code to each other. If any one of these is not equal, then they're not equal, and I return that true. Likewise, for equal equal. Make sure every one of these objects is the same. If any of them is not the same, I kick back a false. All right, so this you have to have. Some nice things to have. What do I have in the extra there? What's this? Okay. Some things that are nice to have, but you don't have to have it. It's nice to have the I.O. operators. And those you build any way you want. But the heading has to match this. Again, they're friends. O stream operator double S than. And then it takes a parameter of type O stream and takes a const of type your your class. And then do whatever you want there. I'm going to display the name in the lat long. Why are you so angry at me? It thinks I'm outside of the class. But I'm not outside of the class. Let me, f let me fix this. Missed the curly brace up here after my equal equal. Okay, so it's nice to have these operators so you can easily input and output stuff. Likewise, it's nice to have an input operator. Um, I'm just going to copy mine over so again, save some time. Um, you can put outs in here and see outs here to display stuff on the screen, but I'm just making it nice and simple. So I'm going to ask for the code, the lat long, and then allow spaces in the, in the string. Okay, so this is how your class has to be built. The I.O. operators are optional, but these less than, greater than comparison operators are required. Otherwise, you won't be able to use things like maps. You won't be able to use things like the standard list and sorting. Okay, to prove this works, I'm going to go over my main. And I'm going to use a simple forward list. If you haven't worked the standard template libraries yet, um, take a look at some of my other videos. They're really good. Um, but this particular video will just demonstrate quickly how to use a, f a forward list. Arrays set up the same way. Maps are very similar, except they want two parameters. Um, so let me build a forward list. So we miss the countries. Let's create a couple. So let me get the lat longs for these guys. United States. I'm looking at data from Google's website, of course. Particularly got these numbers from developers.google.com. Let's build Canada. Canada is north of us. Hope you all knew that. And let's put Mexico in.
these are the country codes you just buy the um by airlines and things of that nature did I get that one right I did So I've got three objects. Let's add it to the list. Push front puts it into the list. So I've added my three. Let's print it out. I'll build myself an iterator. Iterator allows me to walk through this list quickly. And there are faster ways to do this if this works. And here's where it's nice to have that double S then built. I guess we can get rid of Hello World. Run this. Boom, there they are. And that was the double S that I created. Um, notice that they are in different order. The forward list kind of does it the way it wants. I did a push front, so Mexico was the last one in, so it's the first in the list. Canada was second, USA is third. It's just the way the list works. Just puts them in the list, kind of like a stack. Uh, so let's now sort them. That's it. No need to call a bubble sort. No need to pound include algorithms. Sort is a part of the list algorithm. This would not work if I don't have the comparisons. So I run this. They're now in order by code. C-A-M-X-U-S. If I don't have those comparisons, I have to come back here to my comparison operators. And I comment these out. Which I'm, hopefully this dies. This is supposed to die. Gets this horrible error. No mashing to call to operator phone. It's looking for a less. So it's trying to figure out which is less than the other. It needs to have less than defined. Since I defined it, it worked. Once I undefined it, it dies. Alright, put them back in. Run it. It's happy. Excellent. Um, appreciate you watching my video. Um, good luck working with custom classes in S standard template libraries. This particular layout for my class will work for every one of the C++ standard template libraries. Um, have a good day.